in the name of my ancestors. I am the black dragon. My subject today, kill the white people. Well, that's just a title of a video. In fact, this talk, this conversation has nothing to do with killing the white people. However, because of the naive, perhaps ignorant, perhaps arrogant, selfish type of attitude many Caucasian people have, it may want and cause somebody to say kill the white people but by my records first <laughs> remember that from Saturday Night Live Eddie Murphy they were singing this song kill the white people oh kill the white people but by my records first <laughs> and I want to talk to the white people to the racist Caucasian Americans. What brings me to this subject are two things. Point number one, I was watching the ceremony for the Freedom Award, Medal of Honor, some, something to that effect, and I saw President Obama place that metal around the neck of our sister Maya Angelou I think that's her name I'm not really familiar with her I know she's a poet Maya Angelou she's a poet and Maya Angelou she began to weep because she was this was such an honor for her that this medal of freedom the highest honor that a civilian can attain in this country was placed around her neck. And she would later say, and this is what is so sickening to me, this 80-some-year-old woman, I feel so proud to be an American. How can any black person have the nerve unless you are mentally dead, unless you are a zombie, to say that you are proud to have this metal around your neck, so-called freedom, when you come from a people that was denied freedom, denied rights. And even at this time, you are given scraps. You're always begging for something, always complaining about something, but you proud to have this piece of metal which gives us the illusion like we belong and we don't. But she's 80 years old. And the reason of why they put this metal or this, this chain around your neck, Sister Angela, the reason why they put that chain around your neck is because you are a non-threat to them. You are an 80-some-year-old good slave. You've been a good slave for them. You write beautiful poetry that is non-threatening. You are a non-threatening black woman. And you take that same slave-like mentality and you influence other blacks. So they become non-threatening. You, you have been for 80-some years a good slave so let me reward you with the medal of freedom because I'm not going to give you real freedom I'm just going to give you symbolism and put it around your neck I'm so proud to believe I'm free you will not see them give the medal of honor to our sister Khadija Farrakhan the wife of Louis Farrakhan, I really doubt she would get this 
medal of freedom. There is no medal of freedom. Even in even being a symbol to Harriet Tubman or our sister Fannie Lou Hamer, Fannie Lou Hamer will never get a medal of honor because that sister said, look, you evil demons. I have become sick and tired of being sick and tired messing with y'all evil wicked butt. So she's not a good slave. I ain't gonna give her no medal of freedom because Fannie Lou Hamer know she's not free. And I'm not gonna give a medal of honor to Harriet Tubman because that old Harriet Tubman helped free the slaves. So I'd rather give it to Maya Angelou who entertained her slave master with beautiful poetry and convinced the rest of the slaves don't worry it's going to get better these is nice people one day when you 80 some years old the president might put these chains that's on my mind Maybe he'll put them chains as a medal and put it around your neck for being a good slave. They honored Sojourner Truth and don't get it twisted because Sojourner Truth was a fighter. But they give honor, I believe in the rotunda of the Capitol to the first black woman, Sojourner Truth, because she echoed the mentality of one of the best slaves. She said, I'm so happy that this white man got us out of Africa so I could be introduced to my Lord and my Savior, Jesus Christ. You, you, Sojourner Truth, because of your accepting the truth of Jesus Christ becoming a good good slave I'm going to put you in the rotunda here here's your medal of honor here's your illusion of freedom because their version of Jesus Christ their version of Christianity makes not makes you a slave however if you do understand Christianity like Nat Turner because Nat Turner was a preacher he understood the Bible and it made him rebel but see they're not interested in that type of mentality don't teach Jesus the way he really needs to be taught to a people that's oppressed let us write some poems and let us turn the other cheek and smile and hope one day that the slave master, instead of putting the chains on your wrists and on your legs, one day when you're 80 some years old, the president will take the chain and put it around your neck and you'll be so happy, loud and loud and loud and I free. I'm so proud to be an American. Then if you're proud to be an American, you're proud to be an enslaver. You're proud to be those who committed genocide on the native people here. Genocide on the black people. Genocide on some of their own people. Murder, raping, and robbing everywhere they go. You're proud of being part of evil. Given the illusion of being an angel. And this is, I have come to the part that really pissed me off. Because you have these racist Caucasians, the ones that try to be undercover, the ones that try to be friendly towards us. They have the nerve to tell me one of these things. One of these snakes in the grass. You gonna tell me. You sir. 
You, sir, are racist. Your ancestors would be shame of you. Now you got me really mad. How would my ancestors be shame of me? You think they want to be a slave? You think they didn't want to fight back? You think they sitting around wishing the blessings of America after what you did to them? They come on the hold of ships, sleeping in their own feces, being beaten, made to work sun up to sun down. Our women raped. You raped my grandmothers, castrated my grandfathers. You treated them like animals. The same way that you would buy a pig or a cow or a horse on the block. That's how my people have been sold. And even today, you even continue to, your police officers, shoot us down in the street, justifiable a homicide. We are still denied proper housing and employment in, in all the facets, poor education. A sister just recently, she's going to be a, a convicted felon because she wants to try to improve the education of her children. Why do you have to go through all that? Y'all some evil thing and you, you really think black folks are stupid. Now maybe because of the, of these chains, this medal of freedom of Maya Angelou, maybe she's impressed by you. But I'm not impressed because I see who you are. You are a wicked demon. How dare you come to me and tell me, suggest to me that my ancestors want me to love you. After what you've done to them. You must think I'm a damn fool. Because if your father, your mother, your sister, your aunt. If they went through the same thing. I know that you would not be coming to us. Talking about I love you. Now the difference between you and I. I will take in consideration that that was. Those who were really involved in those things are long dead. That's true. But that don't make me forget because you that children. Are you like your fathers, the devil? Many of you are. If we are still having problems with racism in this nation, it takes a majority to pull that off. Because if it was the minority, it wouldn't be an issue. But you are like your fathers Either directly or indirectly. Some of y'all Caucasian people, you don't even realize you racist. You've been trained that way. That's why you can't listen to a black man. When a black man trying to tell you something, you think I'm supposed to take your advice. Because in your mind, I'm still your slave. Well, I'm sorry to tell you, I'm not your damn slave. That was a long time ago. That was, not a, that was not a long time ago. The last physical slave died in 1949. He left record in the Library of Congress. He don't like you. You humiliated him. He talked about being a slave. It was not beautiful. You don't think he's going to come and tell me, oh, they were some angels. 1949, that was not a long time ago. The last child of a slave died in 2001. That really was not long ago. If you want me to forget the suffering of my people and love you, even though you continue the ways of your fathers, you need to forget Pearl Harbor. All those that died in Pearl Harbor. All those who died in 9-11. All those who died in the Holocaust. The recent shooting of Gabriel Gifford. That's in the past now. I could care less. If you don't give a damn about my people in the holes of a ship. Laying in their feces. In their urine. I don't give a damn about you either. And don't come to me and smile. If you really gave a damn about me, you wouldn't dare.